I was having a conversation with a client the other day and all his life, he had problems with going to sleep. Now, one of his biggest problems was that he would just delay the amount of time that he would go to sleep. He would usually go to sleep at like 2 a.m. And then what would happen is, is because he had kids and because he had a business to take care of, uh, he would always get woken up at 6 a.m. And this would go on for a long time. It would actually go on from the time that he was a kid all the way to the time that he was in his 30s. Now, if there's anything that we know about depriving yourself of sleep, this is probably one of the worst things that you could ever do to your brain and body. And, you know, give it up to my client. He uh, powered through it. Uh, he was able to create a really awesome business despite his sleep habits. But one of the things that we did when we started working together was we wanted to pinpoint exactly what was happening during his day and what was preventing him from going to sleep in the first place. Now, we did this one little thing where we ended up having him go to sleep at 10 p.m. And, and this is not forcing himself to go to sleep. He actually felt like his eyelids were super droopy and tired by the time 10 p.m. hit. And then this led him to sleeping at 10 p.m. and getting up at 6 a.m., giving him a full eight hours of sleep for almost like the first time in his entire life, or at least like in the, in the time of his life that he could remember. Now, what exactly do we do? That is actually gonna be the final part to the system that I'm gonna be sharing with you, which is called the three, two, one method for better sleep. And if you're down for that, let's go into what this is. So one of the things that you have to understand with success in anything, when it comes to your body, when it comes to running a business, when it comes to me even doing these YouTube videos, is that you don't necessarily wanna focus on the outcomes, you wanna focus on the systems. Systems are what make outcomes sustainable. If you just focus on the outcome, number one, there's that cognitive dissonance between you trying to achieve the outcome, doing everything you can, that leads to a little bit of emptiness even when you achieve it. And also what happens as a result is the outcome is not necessarily sustainable because you didn't put the focus on creating habits, routines, and systems in order to achieve the outcome almost automatically. So much like a business, when you set up the right systems for your body, you can achieve some amazing things and almost do it without even thinking about it. I'll give you an example. Let's just say like brushing your teeth. I'm pretty sure, I, I hope you brush your teeth at night if you're watching this or else your dentist is gonna be really mad at you. You probably have a system right before you brush your teeth. And it may be something that you do automatically that you don't really think about. I'll tell you my system. So we always take our daughter for a bath. This happens around probably like 6.45 p.m. at night. Now, when we take her for a bath, you know, we get the bath bubbles going, you know, we put her inside the bath, we give her a good soap, all that kind of stuff. And during that time, she plays in the bath with a bunch of her toys, her rubber duckies and all this kind of stuff. And for me, I go and I floss and I brush my teeth and I use that kind of like in between time to do that. That is my system for brushing and flossing my teeth. And it is something that I've done so many times that it's become automatic. And I'm pretty sure that you have similar systems inside of your life that help you do things automatically. Now, when it comes to getting a good night's sleep or improving your sleep, now you could throw a bunch of shit up at the wall and, and hope that some stuff sticks, or you could borrow proven systems that have actually worked for other people and use those to your advantage. The system that I'm going to share with you right now is one that has been used by myself and it's been used by thousands of people, actually, I would say more than thousands of people, probably like millions of people, uh, some consciously, some unconsciously. And this is the exact system that I used to help my client who hadn't really gotten good sleep for his whole life into bed at 10 p.m. and waking up at 6 a.m. for a full night of undisturbed sleep. So let's get into it. So there are two things that you want to have happen when you go to sleep. Number one is when your head hits the pillow, you want to be able to at least have a short time between that and uh, going into sleep. And we call this latency, which is the amount of time it takes to go to sleep. You want your head to hit the pillow and, and you kind of just want to knock out within a nominal time, which can be anywhere between like five to 15 minutes. Now, when you go to sleep, you want to stay asleep. You want to be able to have no disruptions. You want to be able to basically uh, time travel from putting your head on the pillow to the time that you wake up at night. 
or in the morning. I know I'm saying at night. In the morning. Hence, this is why I'm sharing the three, two, one method with you today. This is a very simple system. It doesn't require you to invest in any supplements. It doesn't require you to, to really do anything that is kind of like outside of your control. And it is a system that you can use to not only go to sleep when your head hits the pillow, but also stay asleep and have minimal disruptions. And if you're down for that, let's get into it. So three hours before you go to bed, you want to stop eating. There are some drawbacks to eating right before you go to sleep. Now, one of the things that you have to understand is that eating right before bed can actually cause acid reflux. It can cause nighttime heartburn. And one of the things that you want to do before you go to bed is not digest food. Uh, digestion takes energy. And it's one of these things that actually is what we call like a Zeitberger for your circadian rhythms. It kind of like turns the clock on and it enables you or actually tries to sort of like wake you up a little bit. Now, one of the things that happens when you stop eating before you go to bed is you allow your digestive system to rest and digest. <laughs> and you also give your body a break from digestion in the first place. And then this allows for better sleep in the regards to the sense that you're not going to have any disturbed sleep throughout the night. So this is one of the things that you want to do. The first part of it is stop eating at least three hours before you go to bed. Now, the second step is going to be at least two hours before you go to bed. Do not drink any liquids or put any liquids into your body. One of the things that you have to understand is that a lot of people deal with this thing that's called nocturia. And nocturia is like a need for people to get up and urinate multiple times throughout the night, not in their beds, but like waking up, going to pee in the toilets. I mean, we're all adults here. Okay. Like I don't, I don't think many of us actually, you know, pee in our beds anymore. I would hope, but again, uh, this has caused people to like wake up. They have to go to the toilet. They go pee, they come back. And then what happens as a result is they actually have trouble going back to sleep. What people don't know about this is about like 40% of adults, 18 to 79 deal with some form of nocturia. So if you're watching this and you don't have any problems going to uh, sleep and, and waking up and going to pee, then you can just like skip this part. But if this is something that you do deal with, then before you go to sleep, you want to prevent any liquids from going into your body, at least for about two hours. And one thing I will say is like some people feel like they have a need to drink liquids uh, before going to sleep. Now, one thing I will say is like just from a principle based view, you want to be able to hydrate yourself throughout the day enough that you don't necessarily need to drink liquids at night. So to prevent any type of waking up to go pee, one of the best ways to do that is to stop taking in liquids at least two hours before you go to sleep. Now, the final step is the step that had helped my client start to go to sleep by like 10 PM. And it was to just stop looking at any screens or at least to use blue light blockers one hour before your designated time that you intend to go to sleep. So one of the things that we got my client to do, because, you know, he was, he was looking at screens, he was looking at his phone or he was watching TV with his wife. One of the things that we got him to do was just like wear blue light blockers. Now, ideally you want to just not look at screens uh, at all. And you want to be able to kind of stay away from that. But if you do have to look at them, if it's like something that you just like have to do before you go to sleep, then wearing a pair of blue light blockers is going to be one of the best ways to block blue light from coming into your eyes. Now, why would you want this? One of the things about blue light is it actually suppresses melatonin, uh, which you probably know is like a hormone that helps you feel drowsy. Now this happens automatically in your body without you even having to think about it because of your circadian rhythms, because of the way that your body's automated. But when you're looking at blue light right before you go to sleep, it basically just turns off that automation. I'm saying that for lack of better terms, and it just wants you to stay awake. So this is the reason why a lot of people who look at screens at night, they always extend their sleeping time because they are literally keeping themselves awake. So with my client, what we did was right at 7 PM, we actually did it about like two hours before you intended or actually three hours before you intended to go to sleep. Uh, we got him to wear blue light blockers. And then what happened with him was nuts. By the time it was like 10 PM, he could barely open his eyes. And then when he would go to sleep, he would just like fall asleep right away because he was just basically, he was just so tired and the signals that he was getting from his bodies, the hormones that were going through his bodies were telling him that it was time to go to sleep. And then when he went to sleep at 10 PM, he would always wake up at his normal time, which was 6 AM. 
And then going from say four hours of, let's just say it disturbed sleep to eight hours of disturbed sleep, which you increased a hundred percent in terms of like the, at least the amount of hours that you slept is life changing. And then with my client right now, what's happening as a result is he has like way more energy than he ever had when he was in his twenties. He feels like he's not dragging his feet every single day. Uh, this is actually related to the amount of fat that we're able to peel off of his body because when you get more sleep, you allow your body to recover. It also mitigates appetite at least. And then he just finds himself to be less hungry throughout the day because he's getting the ample amount of sleep that he needs. So just understand behind every single thing that you want to accomplish, it is behind a system that is not yet there. So one of the things that you have to understand is like outcomes are cool. They're great, but systems are what achieve the outcomes and they are what make them sustainable. And now you have a system for sleep, especially if there's something that you've been dealing with for a very long period of time, you now have a very simple system that doesn't require you to buy expensive things or to, yeah, maybe you need blue light blockers, you know, maybe you do, but other than that, it doesn't require you to like, you know, buy crazy supplements or do anything. It's, it's essentially just pointing you towards how your body should be working in the first place. And that is the three to one system. And I hope you got value out of this. Uh, I know that if you are watching this and you're watching this from uh, social media, if you're watching this from Twitter or LinkedIn or wherever it is, uh, you know, let me know how this worked for you because I have been sharing this pretty much incessantly on my Twitter feeds, on my LinkedIn feeds and on my social media feeds. And the reason I do that is because sleep is basically the lead domino uh, to better things in life. And it is literally if you compiled all of the benefits that you get from better sleep it, it could be the world's best legal performance enhancing drug on the planet so get this part right when you're trying to exercise or even like eat for nutrition or whatever it is it all becomes easier because you have gotten better sleep and you have more energy so yes uh, if you're here and you've done this before if you haven't done this before i'd like to hear your feedback in the comments below and yes, uh, if you've gotten this far, please like and subscribe to the video. It helps the algorithm. It helps these types of videos get out to people who may need them. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Talk soon and peace.